There's a great lumbering bus. How about that? I said, what I think we ought to do is tell them that we, you know, since we can't get out of our taxes and we can't get out of our debt, we should tell them we don't want them spending any money on anything but the Northwest Corridor train and Longmont could stand up its own public transit court, transit local services through public-private partnerships and we could do a better job than they are because they're doing the worst of all possible things and starving us in terms of capital investment on the local stuff too. And all they need to do is give us a two-year ramp down uh, while they're doing that so that our people aren't stuck with no public transit at all. I just want robust bus service in town. That's all I want. Yeah. Well, I want robust, ser robust service. I want it to be every 10 minutes. I want it to be electric. And I want it to be small so we don't have those great lumbering diesel dinosaurs roaring around our town getting in trouble in the way of everything else and not happening enough to help anybody with their lives. It is transit of last resort and we don't need that at all. And I think it's great that there are no fares. It's the right idea, at least that some people should pay no fare. But nothing else is right about that bus service. Longmont understands its own needs and could design its own bus service and fund it. So how could we do that? First of all, we do have the fare bus box subsidy, which wouldn't need to go away because it's not part of the PRPA taxes, right? Okay. The other thing is we have progressive businesses who know how difficult housing is in Longmont but want people, want their employees to be able to get to work on time and they understand that good transit is part of having good employees because they aren't having to spend on transit what they are having to spend on housing, which is a lot, you know, um, and it makes them happy to live here. They get time back, you know, if you have good public transit that doesn't take as twice as long as driving, um, then your employees can read the newspaper or study up for their presentation that they have to give that afternoon. There's a great lumbering bus. How about that? So we could have businesses that would have subscriptions to the service in exchange for uh, getting a say in what the roofs would, route would be so that their business would be on the route. Subscriptions from uh, um, real estate developers that want to build high density apartment buildings with not enough on-site parking because we don't have enough space for all those cars, right? So, you know, I already have a developer who wants to build two high density apartment buildings and give every tenant a, uh, an eco pass so that they wouldn't have to pay bus fare. And both of those apartments are right on the existing RTD routes. So that guy, instead of buying eco passes, he would buy a subscription to the Longmont Transit Service. And I said in 2018 that we need uh, the transit service for our elders to be much more accessible because at that time you had to make an appointment to be picked up by VIA or uh, Accessoride a full week in advance. Sometimes you can't even schedule your doctor's appointments that far in advance, especially if you're on Medicaid. So it, it made life quite difficult for our seniors who, who lack um, independent mobility. And at that, that was the time when um, Uber and Lyft were emerging and uh, I made a motion in front of the city council that said, I want to renegotiate this contract, I want to put it out to bid, and I want same day service, just in time service for our elders because that's what they need and nothing short of that meets their need. And the city did that. 